Hey everybody, Animon Clendora here, bringing you another terrible theory. Uh, now, I gotta make this uh, a little fast, cause, well, my computer's starting to act up. So, um, uh, but yeah, what's the theory about this time? It's about one of my favorite shows, Danny Phantom. I love Danny Phantom. I love that show. I loved it when I was a kid. I still love it today, and I'm probably going to love it years down the line. It's just awesome. But there is one question that has plagued my mind uh, since I saw it back when I was a kid. How are the ghosts able to age, get fat, able to fuse, able to interact with the human world, physically interact, and how are they able to have kids? How are they able to do all this stuff? And I think I finally have an answer. It's because these ghosts aren't ghosts. They're demons. Now let me explain why I think this. Ghosts exist on, a con on an entirely different plane of existence than we do. They cannot interact with us in any physical way whatsoever. Um, demons, on the other hand, they can. We see time and again in movies, and we hear people talking about how they've had experiences with ghosts. I, I've had experience with, like, different spirits and whatnot. Uh, but none... But... The only physical experiences I've actually had, the only physical ex experiences I've actually had are ones that I truly believe were demons. Um, and, but those stories are for an entirely different video. Uh, and, um, I believe that these ghosts are demons. Demons would be able to interact with humans, and demons can use their essence to make um, a female give birth to a baby that has a demonic essence. They can do this. They can change their form. They can take whatever form they want. Demons can age. So, demons could get fat. Demons could get buff. Demons could get old. Demons can... Uh, reproduce. They, if they can reproduce with humans, then they most likely can also reproduce with other demons. They can interact uh, with the human world. They can do all of this. And this theory also kind of explains uh, why Danny's ghost have turned evil in The Ultimate Enemy. It's because he's a demon. It's a demon. It's his demon half. And the only reason he wasn't evil before is because he had... Is because his demon half had Danny's good and kind heart to keep him in check. Now that they're completely split up, uh, his ghost half can do whatever he wants. He's able to unleash his demonic... His demonic powers... He's able to use his demonic abilities however he wants. This also explains why everybody who's been possessed by these demons has turned evil. Unless they're being possessed by Danny, if they get possessed by one of these ghosts, they turn evil. And it's because these are demons. Uh, Sam, when Sam becomes uh, the mother of the plants, when Undergrowth shows up, she turns evil. When Tucker wishes he had ghost powers like Danny, he turns evil because it's demon powers he received. And his demon powers are taking over him. And it also explains why Danny was able to be controlled by Freak Show at the end of Season 1 so easily. He had his mind taken over so easily, so quickly, you'd think that his, you'd think that his willpower was strong enough to resist. But it wasn't because he's Freak Show was using the staff to control the demon. 
and make the demon more powerful than the man. And it just, it really explains all this stuff. It explains how these ghosts can do all this stuff. It explains uh, why everybody turns evil. It explains everything uh, you could poss every question you could possibly imagine in the series as to why this happens or how this happens. It explains it all. Now, some of you are probably going to wonder, what about the episode uh, with uh, the what about the episode with the dream catcher net? And how Danny uh, got split up into two, human and ghost. Oh no, he didn't. His human and ghost self did not get split up into two. That was it. Was his personality that got split up into two? His la his laziness, uh, his unwillingness to cooperate, all of his bad qualities got put into uh, the human-looking form of him, and all of his heroic qualities was left in the uh, demonic form of him. So, the demonic form still had that human heart. He still had the decent human heart holding him back. That's why the ghost form did not turn evil. So, there you have it. And plus, plus here's another uh, fun little thing to think about. Uh, what do ghosts need a king for? There's the king of ghosts. What do ghosts need a king for? Ghosts don't need a king. They're ghosts. They don't need a king. But we know for a fact there is a demon king. The devil. The devil is the demon king. So the king of ghosts would actually be the king of demons. The demon king. He is essentially the Danny Phantom's version of the devil. And he is being sealed away by our hero who is part demon. That just, that's awesome. That just makes that story so much cooler when you think of it like that. Danny Phantom defeating the devil. That is awesome. And, yeah, I really, I really like this theory. It explains a lot. It explains everything that was never clarified in the show. And, uh, and... Maybe there was some truth to uh, what uh, the cheese uh, that cheese king ghost said. Not all ghosts, not all ghosts are evil. Well, maybe that's true. Maybe that's true. But we really won't know because these are demons, not ghosts. Let me know if you liked this video. Uh, let me know in the comment box below uh, if you like this theory. Uh, if you support it, or if you want to debunk it, make a video and tell me why you debunk it. Give me evidence. Tell me uh, why you don't like this theory. I will gladly watch your videos. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Alright, take care everyone.